on my way to surgery. Yeah, 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 yeah. We have arrived. What's up guys, it's me, I'm just editing and I wanted to walk you through some of the photos you're about to see. I don't have a lot of videos from before the surgery, so here are some photos. These are a couple photos of me right before they put me out and I feel like I have had nine too many glasses of wine. Then th this is a photo of my ankle before they cut it open and make it all ugly. It's so pretty here. And then this is a couple images of what he's going to do. So he drew on my foot, like the incisions he's gonna make. He's gonna open up both sides and then have a scope go in both sides as well. So I'll have two incisions on each side and four total. And then here is a photo of me after. I have the compression situation on my right leg and of course the cast on my left where the operation was done. Back to the video. All right. So um, I'm coming out of anesthesia. Um, I actually didn't even have like full central anesthesia. I just had a nerve block on my leg and then some gas to make me a little sleepy. So I'm coming out of it like so much better than I've ever come out of any anesthesia. So I'm super happy about that. I just talked to the doctor and he said that um, I had a huge bone spur, like lots of like bone spur going on and he got that all cleaned up and then he said that 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 was the lo loosest ankle that he's ever seen. <laughs> so he got that all tightened up and anchored down and I'm just excited to see how that feels once I'm all healed up and um, finally be able to kick the ball with a locked ankle and hopefully use less like help <laughs> oh. okay <laughs> hopefully use like less um ankle tape going forward and oh, okay thank you and um yeah, I'm excited about that and I'm ready to get home and get resting and and um, get that ankle rehabbed and ready to go again. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to see if the doctor will come back in and tell me on camera that that's the loosest ankle he's ever scene because <laughs> um, I think that that's funny and makes me feel less insane because of how uh, loose it was <laughs> anyways I know he's a busy man so I don't know if I can get him back in here but if he walks by me one more time I'm gonna get his attention so bear with me Gosh, this is such a good feeling. Like, I only got like gas to make me feel like a little bit tired and stuff. And it feels so, so much better than when I usually come out of anesthesia. So I'm super happy about that. My stomach's good. Dr. Metza. Yo. I'm making a little video yeah can you tell me what you told me before <laughs> we Wait. scope you're right you ready uh yeah go ahead we i can't flip it flip no it problem. so we started out by putting the scope the camera down inside your ankle joint and okay. we cleaned all the debris that you'd built up over the years outside the joint okay then we made an incision over the outer portion of your ankle the okay. ligaments were extremely stretched out okay we made four drill holes in the bone uh -huh. the fibula and the talus we used those drill holes to retighten the ligaments okay then i made an incision on the inner portion of your ankle i removed some a very large bone spur that had developed within the deltoid ligament and then i tightened that ligament up and the bone spur just develops from like the chronic sprains too many sprains okay and it just like hits the other bones and then boom. that's what causes well just because the ligament gets damaged and it starts to form a little bone around it when oh. you traumatize it so many times okay cool yeah okay thank you you're gonna do great <laughs> thanks for putting me in the video so they have it folks 
that's what happened. <laughs> I couldn't feel, flip the camera because I don't know how to do that. But hopefully you heard him and I will catch you on the flip side. Peace out. I'm just following instructions. Okay. 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 Uh, I'm gonna get you right up to okay. the door. Okay. I'm gonna let this leg down really careful. Okay. Gang, gang. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. All right. Here we go. Oh my gosh. I have so much more control over my body than when I'm in full blown anesthesia. Yeah. Right. Are we done with this? Yours? Yeah. Hello, my friends. I am just doing a little check in. It is 9.45 on the night of my surgery. And I just want to let you know how I'm feeling and how the day has gone and how surgery went and all that kind of stuff. So I'm currently elevating my ankle. Let me see if I can show you. So I'm laying down and this is elevated on a little pillows and some blankets. Um, so basically here's the, the, the sitch. Here's the sitch. What's the sitch? Here's the sitch. <laughs> Kim Possible. I didn't get a central, like I didn't have like, like central anesthesia, I think is what it's called or like, yeah, I think central anesthesia, like I normally have, like where they, you know, put the anesthesia in your IV and then you get the tube um, down your throat so you can breathe and all that kind of stuff. I didn't get that. And I've always had that for my surgeries. And after I told him that I feel really bad after I come out of anesthesia, he suggested that we just do a local nerve block. So he did that on like my, from my knee down. So I still can't feel my toes, uh, or, or any part of my leg, <laughs> but I can't wiggle my toes. And they're like just sticking out a little bit. And it's driving me insane that I can't wiggle them. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. I cannot even describe how much better I feel now than I do when I usually come out of an anesthesia. So I'm so happy about it. I feel so good. I haven't taken any pain meds yet because I can't feel my leg, so it doesn't hurt. Um, I am supposed to take one pain medicine tonight before I go to sleep, just in case it wears off in my sleep. So I, I'm going to do that, but I'm not excited about it. And it, I'm probably gonna get sick because pain medicine makes me sick. So not excited about that, but I think I mentioned in a previous clip that will be in this video that I didn't think I was getting anchors in my ankle, which um, I said with a lot of confidence, but it's not true. <laughs> um, I have four I have four anchors in my ankle because he had to anchor down all the ligaments. Um, he said it was really, really loose and he tightened it all up and then he said there was like a lot more bone spur and so he got that all out and what else did he say to you all the cleaned up everything else yeah like there was like gunk floaters floaters cleaned up all the debris. floaters debris uh anyways i feel incredible I'll check back in with you tomorrow after i take pain medicine to see if i feel the same way and after my uh, block my nerve blocker wears off even though can we just keep this forever like can I have this all over my body hashtag no pain <laughs> another update because I think it matters is that I have been having quite a pretty bad stomach ache all day and sometimes like pain medicine and stuff like that can make you like more constipated than I already am so I'm having like a lot of pain in my stomach like a lot, a lot, a lot. 
and hopefully it doesn't get any worse and I can go to the bathroom tomorrow. I'm taking stool softeners and stuff like that uh, to try to help, but it's not going so well. I'm a bloaty bloaty girl. And I think that's it guys. I have to ice behind my knee because I can't ice on this ginormous cast. Put your head up to that, Cade, would you? No. Oh, please. This is my hand. It's a huge cast. Holy cannoli. It's huge. That's a huge cast. All right, I'm out. I'm going to sleep. Okay, do you got anything to say? Try your best. And also, drink water. Eat your veggies. Holy shit. Like, worst. Um. Sleep, a sleep leg, dead leg, coming back to life that you've ever felt. I'm in a lot of pain and I can't really function. And yeah, I'm already sick of laying down. I have back sores, but my ankle just hurts a lot. But I don't like taking this med medicine because I haven't gone to the bathroom since the day before surgery. And I'm like super duper constipated and pain medicine makes that worse. Like, let me see if I can show you. My belly is like so full and bloated and just like inflamed and I feel horrible. Like, honestly, sometimes I think my stomach hurts worse than my ankle right now. Yeah. It's not going super good right now, but. Look at that a lot. been great. He's been doing a lot for me. And I just, I'm getting like the sense, like the uh, pins and needles in my, my toes still, even though like the rest of my ankle and everything is like totally back to normal. I still have the pins and needles in my toes and it's freaking irritating. Anyways. All right, that's my check-in. It is. It's like, I'm in exactly 48 hours. Let's see what time is it. I'm like, yeah, my 48 hours since surgery. Or since like going into surgery. Cause it's Sunday morning. Peace out. Go, let's go. Hello. Okay, so. I'm just trying to kind of vlog what um, my day is like with being home all day with this. So I've had it up, elevated all day. I just got a package delivered to the door. So I am going to do like a little mini unboxing really quick before I get back to work. Um, so I ordered this. It's supposed to look like this. And it's somehow it let package like this at the moment. So that's concerning. So I don't really know if it's going to inflate like I want it to, but it is a little like triangle wedge pillow for me and my legs when I sleep and when I lay and stuff, because I've just been like making one with pillows and blankets and I feel like it's not been working really well. So I ordered one of these and I can't open it. So that's the end of my unpacking. What do you, what do people call it? <sighs> opening packages. I'm opening my PR that I had to order myself. Help. Oh my God. I literally, it will take me an hour to get up and get scissors, so. Uh. 
Oh my God, yes. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Help me. Oh my God, I hope this ow inflates. It's a double legger instead of just one leg. It like has a spot for both legs. So I'm super stoked about this. Oh, oh. So I'm gonna have to let this rise, I think. Cause at the moment, it doesn't exactly look right. Please excuse my unmade bed behind me. I physically cannot do that because I'm on crutches. Okay, next in my box, I got an LED light because I am going to start doing my own nails. So I have been getting, well, I've only got my nails done twice, like ever in my life really. And it's been in the last uh, couple months because I finally let them grow out. So I'm doing them because they're super weak. And so I figured like I need to do them and get like gel on them so that they're like stronger. So they stop breaking. Well, long story short is I hate every single place I get my nails done at and they suck like bad, they suck bad. So I'm doing my own nails. So I got a LED UV light. I got like a little kit of gel polish from Emily. Emily. I got like a manicure set. I got a nail primer. I got a base and a top coat. Okay, so I'll show you guys these. I literally cannot move. So base and top coat. All from a Amelie, Amelie. And then I got these little like, um, I don't even know what they are. They're like, they go on the tops of your fingers, to, like soak, help soak off the, um, the gel polish that's already on it instead of using like, oh my God, my eye. Instead of using like, um, aluminum foil. I got these because then I can like function with them. So you just like put them on like this with like the, um, you put them on while you have the cotton ball with the acetone on it and it soaks it off. And then you can like still go about your life and like move around and stuff. They're going to be really small on my fingers. I read reviews saying that they were small and stuff, but like I have big fingers. So I knew any of them would be small, but they fit. So maybe they'll like stretch or something. So I got those and I'm totally going to do a video for the first time I do my own nails. So I'm super excited about it. All right, the colors I got, I got like a wintry fall vibe color set. I wonder if they show you. Yeah, so I got like a sparkly red. I got a black. I got a sparkly gold. I got a burgundy. I got a bright red and I got a dark blue. I think one of these is like more brownie. I feel like the burgundy is like more brownie, but they're super cute. And I read tons of reviews on all of these. And I think this is the best brand for my buck right now to see if I like it. And if I even want to like keep doing my own nails. So, this is like my starter kit and then I'll probably upgrade if I decide I really, really like to do my own nails. Um, I got this light. Like I know that there is like a huge price difference in some lights. Like some lights are like 20 bucks and some lights are like 200. So I got this one for like 36 or maybe like, like yeah, 36, I think. So I kind of went like in the middle to try to like get a cheap one, but not like one that doesn't work. You know, it's kind of like what I do with wine too. Like I don't go for the most expensive wine, but I also don't go for the house wine. You just got to find one like right in the middle. I'm all about the most bang for your buck. You know what I mean? So I'm assuming this is like light. No, this is the charger. Charger. Oh, and something fell out. Yeah, so I read, again, I read tons of reviews on this and I think this is my best option. There's like kind of like a sticky area right here for you to like paint on and it activates when you put your hand on and it deactivates or it turns off when you pull it out. And I really like that. Oh, I'm so excited. I just got my nails done 
the Thursday before I got surgery, so last Thursday, um, and it's Monday. So I'm gonna have to wait probably like two weeks before I use this because I need these to try to like come off a little bit even though they suck and I hate them. I'm not gonna say where I got them done, but if you're watching this, you know who you are and they suck. And then I got this, oh wait, so here's my base coat and top coat. And I'm pretty sure that this is the most important part of the whole situation like this and the primer are like, you gotta have good shit. So hopefully these are okay. And yeah, we'll be checking back in to see how these go. So I'm stoked about that. Okay, so that's my new nail kit, at home nail kit. And then I also got a pair of shoes, but they're over there and that's too far. And they're a gift for somebody, so I'm not reviewing them. I literally don't even know what this is. Oh yeah, I do. Oh my God, I'm so silly for getting these. These are like the cutest little bowls, like plates. I'm going to put maybe like rings in one of them, like jewelry. And then the other one, I think I'm gonna put like the beauty sponge that I'm like currently using, you know? Like the, like I have beauty sponges that I'm not using, right? Like you have someone on deck, but like the one that I'm actively using, how freaking cute is that? It's like a crystal crown. Oh my God, it's adorable. And it's actually really big. So like, yeah, my beauty sponge, it's gonna be like a holder for that. And then I think the other one's gonna be for jewelry. Honestly, they're probably both gonna turn into jewelry containers because I just have so much jewelry everywhere all the time. And they, I feel like they have a home and then I'm not, like not happy with the home. And I always want it to be like, oh, and the rings could like hang on the sides, that's cute. Anyways, tell me if you guys feel the same. I have like these really cute like containers and holders and jewelry, like things that are like so nice and they hold your jewelry, but I don't like my jewelry that I wear every day to be like put away. So they end up just being like on my desk and I hate it. So that's what I'm gonna do with these. And that's it. I'm exhausted. That was exhausting. <laughs> ah. um, so that's my unboxing for today. Ugh. Not really that exciting. The shoes I got are cool, but again, they're not for me. So I feel like that's not very, cool because they're not mine. I don't feel really good. I'm gonna go and lay down again. <laughs> uh, help. Do you guys want to see the images they took during surgery? That's inside my ankle. Look away now if you get sick from gross stuff. You can't even see what's going on there. Wait, let me show you what, how I do this. Okay. Oh, this thing's getting some life in it. Oh my God, my leg's gonna cramp. Okay. I'm gonna show you my setup once I set these little crowns up. Oh. At the moment, this is gonna be their home. So this is like the top of my dresser where I keep all this stuff. So they're super cute. I have the rings hanging on the side and I only have like some bracelets on the inside right now. So we'll see how that evolves. Here I have the silver. So just a bracelet and then the rings on the side. So cute. And I love how cute this is now. I need to untangle this and put it on. But yeah, so cute. Look. I am going to go and get back to work and um, that was my unboxing, and if I get anything else, I will certainly show you. This is how this is coming along. It needs to get a lot bigger, so hopefully I can give you an update of that when it actually looks right. If it ever gets there. All right, guys. I am not feeling great, so I'm gonna go. Peace out. What's up, you guys? Another day of not making my bed because I can't, and it's that simple. This is my fun thing that I unboxed the other day that I lay with my leg on it. Let me show you. It's working pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. But yet. I feel like it's only good for like when I sleep because it's not super duper high so I can't like sit up and use it. My ankle's throbbing.
So yeah, it's working good. Um, so I just wanted to check in. It's day four. Let's see. It is Tuesday. I got surgery on Friday, so there's Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Um, so I'm on day four of my recovery and it's going okay. I'm not taking any pain meds, so I'm kind of in a lot of pain and I'm trying to like work. My setup is just here. It's a disaster. It's an actual disaster in this room, but I just literally turn this over and like have been propping my leg up on this all day and then trying to like work from my computer. It sucks. I am four days out and I still haven't gone to the bathroom. So that's fun. My leg looks like it's the smallest leg I've ever had in my life. And my right hip and leg and groin are starting to hurt really bad because I have to do everything on that leg, you know? And it's just like dying, but I mean, it's okay. I'm bored. I'm not like bored because I'm like super duper busy and I have so many videos to edit and like so much to do at work, but I'm just like mentally bored. Like I need like a break or I just, I don't know. I just want to freaking walk. I literally just want to walk. Like I haven't been outside. Oh, I'm losing my mind. Yeah, I'm losing it. Oh, I wish. If anybody is watching this and edits videos for a living, please, please comment below or reach out to me on Insta or something because I need an editor because I hate editing videos. I don't hate it, but I'm not good at it and I'm using Adobe Premiere and that's a huge mistake and I should, and also comment below if you tried using Premiere and it's too hard for you and you went to iMovie or something because I'm thinking about doing it because it's too hard and it takes too long. Anyways, that's my check-in. It's Tuesday the, I don't know, 13th maybe. And if you hear a buzzing sound, that's because it's my little thing squeezing my leg. I'm watching a show, which I like literally don't watch shows. Like that's not a thing I do. But at night, since I don't like work out or anything, once I kind of like hit that mental wall uh, of working, I just watch a show, which I feel like is really unproductive, but it's kind of been like a nice little break and I'll only let myself do it for the two weeks that I'm like unable to even do like rehab or anything. So I'm watching Succession and I really love it. I really, 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 really like it. And that's about it. I'm literally just in pain 24 seven, but it's better there to be in pain for me than to take pain meds in my opinion. So yeah. My camera's about to die, so I'm out of here. And this is just a check-in, and I will see you tomorrow. Peace. some help please all right so this is the daily struggle I drink a lot of fluids in the morning but I have to get to work and I like to work from the desk and the desk is in here so I put the Yeti on here because it has a lid and it's a little bit more sturdy and then I push it ever so slightly and I carry my tea and I just, oh, and I spill it typically a lot. And I just inch, I just take it nice and slow. Just pick up the crutch with my armpit. So anybody who's dealing with crutches, here we go. You can get a full drink relocated. You just have to use your armpit as a hand and not gonna lie, you're gonna have some pain in your armpit probably. 
because I put all my weight like this instead of on my arm. Anyways, we're here. Just gotta make it a couple more inches. Oh, okay. Oh, all right, let me set you guys up for a little chit chat, shall we? Yeah, that's better. Okay, now let me sit up straighter. I'm uncomfortable as fuck, but how do you guys feel? Okay, so let's have a talk. I figured, so I've been kind of updating you guys on by the way, I just pulled the blinds back, so this is the first time I'm sitting outside in like a week, and it is so nice. <gasps> oh my god. Okay, I'll... got my little basket here. She goes with me everywhere. Um, this angle, I'm so sorry, is, is tragic. It is literally a tragedy. So, let's talk. I've been kind of filling you guys in on kind of like what I've been doing and how I've been feeling like physically a little bit. Actually, not really even. I haven't been doing a very good job. So let's do a better job. I am coming to you one week showerless today. Uh, I took a shower last Thursday before surgery. It is currently Thursday. I have not showered. Why you ask? Because I cannot be vertical for more than a couple minutes without my foot throbbing. Why don't you just take pain medicine, Janali? Well, funny you should ask. I cannot take pain medicine because I already haven't used the toilet in one week. One week! I have not used the toilet since last Thursday. It is currently Thursday, October 15th, and I have not used the toilet, I have not showered, and I have not taken any pain meds because if you're, if you're wondering why, Janelle, why don't you take pain meds just because you can't use the toilet? Because pain meds have a tendency to clog you up a little bit, and I haven't taken any pain meds, and I still haven't gone to the bathroom. So I'm not really sure what's going on. I've taken everything the doctors have recommended. So yeah. Needless to say, I think I've gained about 10 pounds. I haven't moved. I've been eating and not using the toilet. Sorry if that's TMI. So psychologically, that's taking a toll on me. I know that you can always like gain weight, lose weight, like it's not that big of a deal, you know? It's not, it doesn't define who you are. But it sucks, my stomach hurts, I feel like shit. But I'm trying to stay positive. I... I'm just trying to stay positive, you know? I like hate it and it's a shitty situation and nobody would like it but I'm just trying to do my best and not get too down. Um, the worst thing that could happen to me right now is like spiral into a depression. So just trying to steer clear of that. My hair, let's take my hair down for this. Let's really get, let's just make this, it looks wet. I don't know if anybody else has not showered their hair for this long or showered their body for that matter, but it, it my scalp hurts. Is that a thing? Like my scalp genuinely hurts to touch or like move my hair. Now my hands are greasy. Like I just literally massaged kale with olive oil. Okay, so that was a weird reference. So yeah, I'm just trying to stay positive and, and it sucks. I mean, surgery sucks. Uh, you guys can't see, but I mean, I have no muscle left in me. That sucks. Um, you know, I'll be, I'll be unfit. I'll, you know, all this stuff. It's going to be a long recovery. You know, it doesn't just hurt for like a week or two. It hurts for probably six months. But I think it was the right decision. Anybody who undergoes the knife, like like for other surgeries like i don't know like plastic surgery or something get out of here with that i would never i would never go i would just never Ugh. i hate surgery yeah i'm not doing a great job with icing because 
it's hard for me to like get it like get up and get it every hour that's it that would be insane like i can i get up as infrequent as possible <laughs> sleeping has been getting better i just like have to get my leg like perfectly right and not too much pressure on the top part of my cast or else it starts to really hurt my ankle but yeah it's been pretty good i've been sleeping a lot better so let's let's circle back to the tummy thing and like the sitting around and like i cannot with my hair down like this you guys oh my gosh and the um like i don't know like i know it's common for people not to go to the bathroom as much if they're like not moving around and stuff and like i already have issues with that so it makes sense but it's just been like really bad like like the thing is is i understand like not going to the bathroom if you're like not eating a lot and you're like exercising and just like burning through all those calories but i'm literally just sitting here and eating all the time and i know like i could not eat but i need to because i need like nutrients and stuff to like heal and a lot of people say that you should like gain weight when you're like recovering from an injury because it like helps like extra like fats and aminos and just like extra love so i'm i'm still trying to eat but it's just like making me upset because like i just am getting i'm just like fat like i i, I don't know how to i mean if i'm putting in calories and nothing's coming out so if you're a doctor comment below with what the heck is going on um yeah So it's upsetting, but girl, we're just gonna keep grinding. I'm starting to really, really like second guess myself with my neck surgery because I will have like this whole situation again, but on the other leg, which means like my left ankle will be having to like do everything for me. Like I'll be crutching. I, I honestly might have to get a wheelchair because I won't be able, like I won't be able to crutch around on this like freshly surgered ankle but like i'm getting surgery on this toe so i don't really know i'm like really second guessing it and like wanting to back out of it but i don't think that's the right thing to do because it's been over a year and it's still figgity figgity up and i'm also dreading my shoulder because i know how much more painful that will be and how much like of a harder recovery that will be because it's a way more intensive surgery Anyways, seven, ten, ten days maybe, and I'm locked in this freaking apartment. Like, I literally have not left. I have not done anything, and, like, <laughs> uh, this is so embarrassing, but, like, okay, so I didn't, like, nobody sent me, like, flowers or anything, and I have been, have been getting so emotional about it, like, thinking about it all the time that, like, of all the people that I know in my life, nobody sent me flowers after surgery. And I'm sad. But like little stuff like that has been making me like so emotional and like, I'm really sensitive. And I don't know why. <sighs> and let's see, what else? Um, I've, I've just kind of learned how to like maneuver around uh, by myself and get everything kind of done and it's just crazy like it's really crazy not to have just all I have is just minus one leg like the amount of difficulty my life has just increased is insane uh, for anybody that's like missing a limb or anything like that my heart goes out to you. I cannot imagine. I cannot imagine. Chicken and macaroni. Why is that song? Chicken wing, chicken wing. I don't get the lonely. I just realized that like I've been really, really like stuffy in here and wanting to like be outside, but then I'm like not comfortable when I'm out there. And I have like all these windows, like why wouldn't I just open a freaking window? I'm so dumb. When Cade left this morning, he yelled from outside. He was like, that's a crisp fall morning. And that sounds so nice. Oh my God, this tree is so pretty. Let me show you guys. Chicken wing. 
Look how pretty. Do you see that? Oh my god. That is a majestic looking tree. Wow. Alright guys. The moment we've all been waiting for. The hair reveal. Let's get in here real nice and tight and show you guys what I'm working with. So up, you can tell that it's not good. But just wait till it's done. Chicken. Oh, it, it just stayed up. Do you guys see? Like, it is greasy down to the bottom of my hair. That is insane. Hot dog and bologna. Chicken and macaroni. Oh my God, I should film the back. I haven't seen the back. I'm terrified. Can we see? I don't know if I'm, shoot. Let me just turn around. Just leave this here and I'll just turn around. Oh, hell no. I don't even want to know what that looks like. <laughs> All right, hope you guys enjoyed that little update. Hopefully next time I see you, I will be showered and a new woman. A new freaking woman. Until then, bun life. <gasps> All right, guys, I'm freaking out of here. Don't look at my, don't look at that. You guys, stop. Jeez, that's personal stuff. Oh my gosh, oh, don't look at that. Just kidding, I drew that. You guys, I drew that. You wanna see that? When I say drew, I mean paint. And when I say paint, I mean paint. I painted that. Don't believe me? You don't believe me? I wouldn't either. All right. Bye. I did a couple fun things while I had my cast on. I was able to carve pumpkins and go to the grocery store to get the pumpkins. <laughs> and that's pretty much all that I did. Other than that, I just edited, laid around, worked, and laid around some more. I had to get creative, to say the least, with a few things. Um, when I was on the toilet, sometimes my foot would start hurting really bad, so I brought the chair in the bathroom with me and propped my leg up on it. So that chair pretty much was everything for me. It was my form of transportation, it was my leg rest, it was my work station, it was everything. Thank you, Rolly Chair. You've done me well. But I've moved up now to a knee scooter. So your services will no longer be needed for my mode of transportation. And then this was my typical setup for a work day. It was so hard for me. It took me so long to make the bed. And I was constantly getting in and out of it. So I just stop making it um i would go back and forth between the desk and then my lap propping my legs up on the on the bed and then sometimes if i was working at the desk i would prop my leg up on the desk but it would really start to hurt my back so i tried to just spin around and put my legs up on the on the bed when i was feeling a lot of pain but yeah this is where i pretty much worked for two weeks straight just went between the chair and my bed for hours on hours on hours on hours <laughs> hello i forgot my camera so i am recording on my phone recording on your phone is so weird because i always want to look at myself yeah you're just supposed to look into the camera yeah it's hard okay so we're on our way to get this freaking piece of crap off I cannot wait. I cannot wait. I am so excited. This hurts my foot. I still have like tingly feelings in my toes. And I don't think it's from anything but just the cast. Because it's like just putting pressure on weird parts of my like heels and stuff. So, or my heel and my like opposite side of my heel. 
whatever that's called. And yeah, so when you see me next, this thing will be off. And hopefully they'll let me see the scars today. I really hope they take all the dressing off and like change it and stuff because I really want to see the scars that I'm working with. So hopefully I can get some footage of that. Catch you later. Peace. You guys, look at my poor little calf. Watch this. Okay, so like, there it is, kind of. And then, <laughs> like that is like my bone. Look at that, that is my bone right there. <laughs> no calf, where are you? What's up you guys? So as you can see by the title of this video, today is my two week mark from surgery and I have some updates and I wanna let you guys know how it's gone, how it's been going, how I am. I also want to give like tips and things that I would do different and things that I did and all that kind of stuff because I found like I didn't really do a lot of YouTube watching or research prior to the surgery because I felt like it was just a long time coming and I've already had other consultations for it. So I was like kind of, I don't know, I was like prepared, but I think I wasn't. I like didn't do anything to prep. I don't think I thought about how hard it would be. So I just want to make this video so that people who are planning to go through the same procedure are prepared and like knowledgeable and stuff. So let's get into it. I got my cast off today. I basically still have the uh, the dressing on it and then an ace bandage around it and then I'm pretty much just in a walking boot all the time and I can take it off to shower and to sleep. Okay, so that's what happened today. We'll get we'll kind of circle back to that. So I just want to talk about like the last two weeks. So I came out of surgery really good. I didn't get a general anesthetic. I don't believe I got just like fentanyl and like Ambien, but I wasn't like all the way out out. And then I got a nerve block. The nerve block took about two days to wear off and then it even like lingered in my toes and stuff for a while. I still have some numbness in my toes and I think that's to be expected if they like bruised or touched a nerve or anything. So I do think that will come back in time. I had the same thing happen with all my surgeries, so it's pretty normal to feel a little bit of like numbness, tingling, so don't freak out if you feel that uh, in your foot and in your toes and stuff. So I came out of anesthesia or whatever it was really well. I literally felt like normal by the night the same night of my surgery and I didn't have any pain because of the nerve block. So I didn't take any pain meds, period. I took aspirin because you're supposed to take aspirin so to kind of prevent blood clots. And so that's all I took. I took one a day and I didn't have like any pain really. Like after the nerve block wore off, I don't really, I didn't really have like excruciating pain. Um, it hurt really bad when I slept and 
I mean, it, I mean, it hurt. Okay, let me, let me not, let, let me not speak wrong. It hurt, just not bad enough to take pain meds because I have like a digestive issue, so I already have like troubles going to the bathroom. So I didn't go to the bathroom for like ten days after surgery, and that was not taking the narcotics. So that would have made it even worse. So I was just trying to avoid painkillers at all costs. So. Yes, it hurt, but not bad enough to take those meds. I The only time it really like aggravated me to a point where I almost took it was at night sleeping because it's just so uncomfortable and the cast like digs into the back of your calf a little bit. So you have to like really support the heel properly and not like put the same amount of um, raise. The, you can't just like raise your pillows evenly right because then your calf and your heel are gonna hit at the same time you need to like put more support under your heel so that it hits your heel more and so that the pressure is there instead of like behind your calf like behind your knee I did that and I still like it's two weeks have a lot of pain right behind my knee and like all through my calf my calf is like painful like it hurts so yeah, that's just a little tip. Um, you have to sleep with your foot, or you have to just stay with your foot elevated as much as possible. So it was like, I was working from home, so it was just all the time elevated. Uh, if it was down for more than like 10 minutes, it would start throbbing and get like super swollen and just, ugh, terrible. And my toes were basically swollen the entire time I was in the cast. Like couldn't really move them much. So keeping your foot up and trying to sleep at night, I would recommend like not putting your covers over your foot. So if your foot is like cold or something, maybe try to put like a big sock over the whole like front of it. Cause your toes are the only thing that are out. But honestly, I get like the coldest feet ever and my feet weren't cold because like the cast is so big and thick. So I didn't put the blanket over my casted foot because it just like causes strain on it and like you have to pull against it and you, when you're sleeping it's hard to know what you're doing so i would highly recommend not putting the blanket over it because it hurts and so now that i'm able to sleep without a cast um i'm interested to see how that goes and if that hurts or what i'm a little nervous for it so uh moving on let's see so the swell so icing and swelling is kind of a really tough situation with this surgery because your cast is so big and bulky you can't ice through it it won't get to your 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 ankle so you have to ice behind your knee and I'm assuming like that blood flow gets get like everything cold as it passes by and I, I don't really know how it works but I usually like don't get really swollen or really bruised I like bruise a little bit on each side but I, my feet, my foot was so swollen and like towards the end of the two weeks in the cast, it was so uncomfortable. It felt like it was like swimming around in the cast. So it was like moving, which like hurt it. And I was like bumping and felt like my stitches were getting like stuck on the side, like caught on the dressing and that like hurts your skin. So like as time went on, it got a little bit more uncomfortable and painful just cause like I was moving, like my foot was moving in the cast. Uh, but I just tried to, you know, not move as much as possible it's just hard because you like finally get movement of your toes and you get a little bit of room and you want to wiggle around but just try to refrain from that because i don't really know if it could do any damage but it definitely hurts <laughs> basically like the pain was from like inside the boot or inside the cast literally sometimes just the skin from the stitches and then my calf my calf like honestly hurts more or equally as my ankle and my foot like my the top of my foot it like into my toes is honestly very painful too like that's where I get all my swelling and stuff so it's kind of interesting my right hip I have a problem on my right hip already but my right hip and my whole right leg are starting to just like hurt a lot I'm always like, if I'm standing at all, I'm just putting all my weight on that. So like doing the dishes or making food or just like anything where I have to be up, I am putting all my weight on my right leg and my hip is starting to, my, once my hip fatigues, I start to like lean into it and it starts to hurt. So I didn't really prepare. And that's one thing I really, really regret. Like I didn't, I wasn't I'm prepared to have any like ailments, you know, anything holding me back. So I've only showered like twice or maybe three times in the last two weeks because it's so hard for me to shower because I didn't get like a shower stool or anything. There's like a cup, like a foot lip on the tub to get in the shower and 
I don't have like the pull down shower, so I have to stand the whole time and it's just a disaster. And it, my foot starts to get so swollen because I have like tape around my leg and it starts to like throb while I'm in the shower and I'm on one leg in the shower hopping around. It's like so dangerous. So I highly recommend getting a shower stool and even like a shower handle, getting somebody to help you and maybe even like if you don't have a pull down shower head, like getting one and changing it to that. Another thing that I fully regret not getting before my surgery and having like ready for me when I got home is this handy dandy scooter. So I literally just got this today and I ordered it like a week after my surgery when I realized that I couldn't get around because when you have crutches, you can't carry anything. So I'm at home all day and if I wanna like bring water into my work area or I don't know just literally carry anything from point A to point B I cannot so um I've been like scootering around on a rolly chair all over my apartment and I'm like ruining the walls and the floors because rolly chairs go wherever the hell you want it was starting to hurt my right knee because like there's no brake on it so I had to like use my foot as a brake but I would like kind of pull to the side because like it's the only way that makes sense and it would like kind of pull on my MCL a little. So my knee is like, my right knee is killing me and I'm messing up like all the floors and it's just, a dis it's actually a disaster. So I got this, it has a little basket on it. I can't pick it up. It ha it's just a, an awesome, you know, knee scooter and I highly recommend getting it. I'm telling you, like I haven't even had it for four hours and it has already changed my life, like period. So I'm now in a walking boot and I don't even really need this, but it's still so useful because you want to like, I'm trying to avoid walking as much as possible over the next two weeks so that like I have a solid four weeks of like lots of rest on my ankle. But yeah, the scooter is a must. The shower stool, if you don't have a bench in your shower is a must. I didn't do either of those things and I fully regret it. Um, another thing is you have to cover your cast when you shower and there's all different kinds of like cast shower um, uh, covers. And I did a bunch of research and I read like all kinds of stuff on Amazon and Walmart and, and Walgreens and Target and all this kind of stuff where you can get it. And I ended up landing on these from Walgreens. Um, they actually ended up working really well and I have like a whole little system just to be extra careful because I don't want to mess up anything. So I'll sh actually insert it right here, uh, me getting ready to shower and what that looks like. So basically all I do is I grab some plastic wrap that I got from the store, you can get it at any store, and I cover the top of my cast with that to prevent any leakage coming from like top down into my cast. And then I close that plastic wrap with some athletic tape. I use a method of like two different strips, one for the front and then one around the back. Um, I do this to prevent it getting too tight using one strip, sometimes you can make it too tight and like cut off your circulation. Then I just grab that plastic cast cover that I got from Walgreens and I leave some air in it to make sure that um, it's not leaking. I can tell if the air stays in it that it's not leaking. I close that up with some pre-wrap first because if I put tape directly on it, it will rip it when I take it off and then I can't reuse it. So I bring that pre-wrap up over my knee because the knee has a bunch of bends in it and creases and it can potentially like cause leaking. So I bring it up over my knee and then I secure it at the top on my thigh with some athletic tape and then I go back in with the plastic wrap because pre-wrap is not waterproof and plastic wrap is so I close it with some plastic wrap and then I just close that plastic wrap with more tape. I know this seems a bit tedious but it works and I have had zero leaks and it is totally worth it so just covering it up with some tape again using one strip for the front and one strip for the back and that's pretty much it there you have it good to go
So now, even though I'm out of the cast, I still can't get my incisions wet, so this is how I shower now. I have the ace bandage on and all the dressing, and then I put a sock over my ace bandage just because if anything, any water gets through, um, then it has to go through the sock and the ace bandage before it gets to the incisions, so just extra cautious. Then I wrap the saran wrap around the sock, and I secure it with some athletic tape as usual. Then I put on the cast cover, but I only put it on up to where that tape is. Um, I leave some air in it. I close it with the pre-wrap so that it doesn't rip it with the tape. Close the pre-wrap with the tape. And there you have it. Um, I always make sure that there is air in it after because then if the air starts coming out then I know that there is a leak so yep that's it and I have had zero water leakage at all so it's a little bit tedious but it's so worth it because if you get it wet like I don't know what you have to do probably go in and see them and get all this whole thing so I'll spare a few extra minutes to save a couple hours so Yes, that's showering. I have like fallen a ton in the shower and had to put a bunch of weight on my ankle and stuff. So either get a shower buddy or get a shower stool because I've made some huge errors. Driving slash riding in a car. So I figured since it was my left foot that I could just kind of like be able to drive, right? Or even just ride passenger in a car. But I found out that it's really like it hurts a lot to ride in a car. First of all, driving is out of the question because you have to put your foot down and the bumps like from driving, just like the smallest bump hurts so bad. So unless you can like figure out how to put your leg up on the dash while you drive, it's not, it's not a good idea. So I had Cade take me to get my cast off today. Like right when we pulled out of the parking spot I realized like I couldn't put my foot on the ground so I like had it up on the dash but then the dash even gets like bumped so I was literally in the car like I leaned the chair back and I just like held my leg up like right above the dash because like if it was on something that like would bump against it at, when you hit something uh, or even just like the road like not even hit something just literally the road uh, it would just like jar it and rattle it and it would hurt a lot so Try to avoid that because anything that hurts is like not a good idea to do. So if it hurts, try to avoid it. Okay, and then also shopping. So I am thankful and so lucky because I live with my boyfriend and so he has been able to like do all the shopping, grocery shopping and all that kind of stuff. There obviously are like delivery apps and stuff that you can use to get your groceries, but it's COVID right now. So there are some like changes. A lot of grocery stores don't have their like automatic uh cart like wheelchair type things going on there are some king supers around here that do and some that don't and then target has them and like sprouts i don't know if they ever have or or what but i can insert a clip here uh, i think at i think at sprouts uh so yeah i went to sprouts and i was just like riding in the car and he was just pushing me around and it was super uncomfortable and a horrible idea but yeah i mean if you have to I would say go to like a bigger store because they tend to have like Target or Kings or whatever, uh, the electric, I don't know how to call them, like handicap carts and those would be better. If you have a scooter though and you have a little basket, you could get some good stuff done. It's impossible on crutches, so don't even try. Okay, so I think that's all of the like little tips and tricks that I have. Uh, basically just get yourself a servant and you'll be good to go. <laughs> no, but... Just try to be careful and try to be prepared before you go into surgery because trying to sort out all this stuff like after surgery like I did is kind of obnoxious and like there's already so much going on and you don't have a lot of energy and you don't like you can't walk so everything is just like everything is harder when you can't walk like literally if you forget your drink in the other room it's like sweetie can you bring me my water I'm sorry that this is the hundredth thing I've asked you to do today but it's gonna take me an hour to try to figure out how to get that water from here to there. So just be prepared and try to have someone like stay with you or live with you for a little while. The last thing I wanna talk about is like kind of the mental side of things and how important that is with recovery. I am recovering 
or you know attempting to recover back to sport so I have to have a little bit of that mental edge too where I need to have confidence that I can get back to playing at the level I used to play at and all that kind of stuff but there's also just a mental side of it like with like I said not being able to walk not being able to do anything for yourself so it is COVID time like I mentioned and so I haven't let anyone come over and see me except for my mom and dad and then I sat outside with them so my like sister and my friends I haven't let them come see me because they're active and they're kind of like seeing a lot of people all the time and um, basically I can't get COVID right now because anything that will hinder my recovery um, I need to avoid so I have been feeling like really like lonely or almost like forgotten about and it's just like anyone who's had surgery knows it's like really tough to to do I mean it's emotionally and physically draining you start you kind of like lose your sense of independence and you rely on people to do things for you or you just don't do them I mean it's all it's it's weird how when like your ability to walk is taken away, how it also takes a lot of other things away. So I would say the first week I didn't have any issues with like the mental or emotional side of things or psychological, but the last week has been tougher because I think I've had more pain, like I said, because I'm like moving around in the boot a lot and I have felt more like I'm annoying my boyfriend, asking him to do all these things for me, even though I'm trying to just not ask, like just avoid it at all costs and be really sweet about it. But I feel like an inconvenience and it was my little sister and my older sister's birthday last week and I couldn't celebrate at all with them and I just felt really bad and yeah. So we'll see how the emotions develop going forward. I'm a little nervous about them, to be honest, because I just always want to be able to do everything. Like, I'm going to be able to want to walk right away, you know, do everything right right away. But I understand that there was a huge surgery done on my ankle and it's going to take some time for me to, like, reteach my muscles and and let everything heal and get back to where I was. But I'm going to try to do it as fast as I can in the correct way. And I will give you guys another update in two weeks on how I'm feeling emotionally, any other like tips and kind of just like what's going on with uh, the recovery. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Leave any questions you have down in the comments below and I will answer them. I've also had a couple other surgeries on my shoulder, my collarbone and my elbow on my arm and my pinky and my an appendectomy. So if somehow you stumbled across this and you are uh, having one of those surgeries, also, you know, comment or, or anything, you know, Instagram, whatever, and ask me anything because I just want to be here to help anybody get through something that they, that is new because I feel very like practice in the world of like surgery and kind of what to expect with ankle stuff like especially with ankle stuff and there's still a learning curve for me so anything I can do to help anybody is what I'm here for anyways thank you guys for watching and I will see you in two weeks bye